Hi everyone and welcome to part 2. Here you can see how the sole looks like after 20 rows. We're going to continue. You will need some markers. Of course you can use your big stitch holders, it's just for a short time, or you can use any markers you have at home. This is row 21, your yarn should be in front. Take off the first stitch as if to purl. Then continue to knit the seed stitch for 14 stitches. Now take a marker and put it under your needle. Then continue to knit the seed stitch for 22 stitches. And also here set the marker. And again knit the seed stitch for 22 stitches. set a marker. Now we have to knit 23 stitches in seed stitch. set the marker. Then repeat twice knitting 22 stitches in seed stitch and set a marker in between. Now continue knitting the seed stitch for 14 stitches. Knit the last stitch and this row is done. For the next row take your yarn to the front Take off the first stitch as if to purl. Knit the seed stitch until you reach the marker. We 
We don't need this marker anymore, so you can take it off. But we need our stitch holder. Transfer all the stitches from your knitting needle to the stitch holder and secure. Make sure not to twist your stitches. These are the edging stitches. We won't use them for a long time, so take a small stitch holder. The bigger ones are better for the entrelock. Now put your other needle back for working. The pattern says that we should knit 6 stitches, knit 2 together, knit 6 stitches, knit 2 together and knit 6 stitches. This stitch has a loose back loop. That means I'm going to knit through the back loop. Insert your needle from above through the back loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Take off. Number 1. Now the front loop is loose, that means we knit through the front loop. Number 2. Through the back loop. Number 3. 4. 5. And 6. Now we have to knit 2 together. So we have to go through the next stitch and also through the second. Pull the yarn through both loops and take off. Now again, knit 6 stitches, the first through the back loop, second through the front loop, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And again, knit 2 together. Knit 6 stitches one more time. Now move the marker to the other needle. We continue to knit the next section. This works the same. Knit 6 stitches. Knit 2 together. Knit 6 stitches. Knit 2 together. And knit 6 stitches. Then move the marker. Then knit 6 stitches. Knit 2 together. And one more time, knit 6 stitches and knit 2 together. Now knit only 5 stitches. And knit the last two together. Move the marker. For the next two sections we will be doing the same as for the first two. We're going to knit 6, knit 2 together, Knit 6, knit 2 together, and knit 6.
Transfer the last 15 stitches also to a stitch holder and secure. And this is how it looks like. Now we're going to knit the first triangle. For this, we can discord this needle. It will be easier for the entrelac. What you see now is the wrong side. Your yarn should be in front and we take off the first stitch as if to purl. Then purl one. The front loop is loose, so we purl on the front side. These are two stitches. Now we have to turn our work. Now the yarn should be on the back side. Take off the first stitch as if to knit. Knit the last stitch. And turn your work. Our yarn is in front and we take off the first stitch as if to purl. Now make one. This is an increase. For this, insert your needle under the horizontal bar and pull up a loop. And now pair two stitches together. Take the yarn to the front. Insert your needle from above through both stitches on the front. Yarn over, pull up a loop and take off. Turn your work. Take off the first stitch through the back loop. Knit the next stitch. And knit always the last stitch. Turn your work. Take off the first stitch as if to purl. Make one again. Knit one, and here you can see a big space. This space tells you to purl two together. So we have four stitches on our needle and we can turn our work. You see, we increase always one stitch at the beginning and decrease at the end of the row to have the same amount of stitches in this row. We also knit the triangle in seed stitch. Now again, take off the first stitch as if to knit. Knit one, purl one, and knit the last stitch. This is row 7 of the triangle. Take off the first stitch as if to purl. Make one. Purl one. Knit one. Now you can see the big space. That means purl two together. Turn your work. Take off the first stitch through the back loop. The front loop is loose and you see a purl. That means we have to knit through the front loop. Purl through the back loop. Knit one. And knit always the last stitch. Turn your work. So this is how this triangle works. Take off the first stitch as if to purl. Make one. 
we see a pearl that means knit one, purl one, knit one. Here is the big space, that means purl two together. And turn your work. Take off the first stitch as if to knit. You can see a purl, that means knit one, then purl one, knit one, purl one, and knit always the last stitch. And turn your work. Now again, take off, make one, you can see a V that means purl one through the back loop. Knit one, purl one, knit one. Here is the big space that means purl two together. Turn your work. From now on, I'm going to fast forward the video. I think you know how the pattern works. Always increase at the beginning and decrease at the end. If you still didn't get it, just watch this video part over and over again. Continue in this manner until you reach the marker. And this is how my triangle looks like. One stitch is left. On the right side you should see a slip stitch salvage. Now I would recommend to make sure that you have 20 stitches at all. In your last row you have the possibility to increase stitches if you have less than 20 or to decrease stitches if you have more than 20 stitches. It's not a disaster if your stitch number is incorrect. 
you don't have to re-knit the whole thing, but you can repair it on this point. So now we're going to knit the last row, take off as if to purl, make one, continue to knit the seat stitch, Curl the last two stitches together. So now you should have 20 stitches at all, which we transfer to a stitch holder. You don't need the marker anymore, so your first triangle is done. If you compare your work to the pictures in the written pattern, you may be not sure if your work looks right. It will look better after knitting and blocking your stole. It is actually not geometrically correct, but the result will be great. So thanks for watching, hope this helps to understand the written pattern and until next time, bye bye!